Guys, tell us what's happening in court. <laughs> Somebody tell us what's happening in court. Very yeah. boring. We've been acquitted on 75% of our charges. Yeah. Five out of nine people. But we obviously feel we should have been committed on 100% of the charges. We sat together making a peaceful protest about fracking. We're all committed to continuing the struggle, continuing the protest, and to educate and inform more people until we have a ban on fracking in the UK. 100%. Yeah. And the whole of Europe. So five out of nine found not guilty of all charges. The two charges that the uh, prosecution were going for were breaking section 14 and willful obstruction of the highway. The section 14, we put a lot of time and effort on the defence into showing and proving how it was invalid in the first place. The judge has not made a judgment on the validity of the Section 14. He decided that the implementation of the Section 14 was so badly flawed to begin with and not provable that everyone was completely aware of the Section 14, the Section 14 area, the uh, map being upside down, etc., things like this made it clear that the Section 14 was not likely to be fully understood by anybody. So, the Section 14 was dropped from charges. There was no actual ju uh, judgment on the jurisdiction or, and the usage of the Section 14 being a correct thing to do. However, of the nine people, five of them found not guilty of obstructing the highway and the Section 14 charge, obviously. <coughs> Four found guilty of obstructing the highway, but only because the judge said they went too far. Directly, as a quote from him, the judge says that these four people went too far. He explained it as being that if the people had left before the police started cutting people free, that they would not have been found guilty, pretty much. The fact that they remained and waited to be cut out by the police instead of assisting one another to leave the area or unlock themselves they had gone too far. So, we shall fight another day for Section 14, but hey, can we get an opinion of what you thought about being found, because you are one of the guys that was found guilty of obstructing the highway because of the lock-on. Yeah. But also the judge was pointing at you, saying that you were the planner or organiser or stuff. Yes. That's a bit shit of him. <laughs> Hey, his opinion though, his, well, his judgment. It's his opinion and uh, I mean as he said, yeah, I was at the site and uh, I did know where the equipment was so cool. you could maintain that uh, because of that I was a ringleader but uh, leader. a ringleader <laughs> on my very first direct action straight to the top ringleader <laughs> you are our leader <laughs> leader <laughs> Greater things to come on uh, that basis. <laughs> 500 yeah. pound ish fine and yeah. costs, etc. Yes, that's right. Yeah, but there is some fundraising going on, yes. I understand. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there's money to, sh to help us all out. I will speak to you off camera about a slush fund I'm aware of. Okay. But, okay, Chris. Wow. Well, yeah. The section 14, though. The section 14, that was good. That was <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, as he said, he couldn't be sure, you know, had we heard, had we not heard, and in that case, he found us not guilty of, uh, of that offence, but also it meant he didn't have to rule on the legality or not of the whole order, so it was a nice way to, to sidestep, sidestep around that controversial issue, so, yeah. Yeah, that was noticeable, the fact that he didn't want to make a judgment on the validity no. of the Section 14, because no. it would have so many other knock-on effects. Yeah, the, <laughs> had he, had he, ordered it, he, he didn't want this as a test case. No, no, no. no He's no. got it as a test case, though, because yeah. him saying that the four of you went too far, 
in that you didn't leave yeah. when you had the opportunity before the police got you free. Indeed, yeah. That could pretty much be used as a judgment to say, as long as the police turn up and say, do you want to leave now? Until that point, yeah, yeah, you are, you are not guilty of Until the police are getting the cutting tools out, yeah. you could you still, still just go. walk up, stand up and maybe point. even take yeah. the stuff away with you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the key is sort of, yeah, lock-ons, either you do intend to stay to the very end, um, or you announce to the police, we are going to be here for five hours. We've got a, yep. we've got a defined length of protest as to what we want to do. Excellent. And I think then maybe they're more accommodating. So, but who knows? Cool. Yeah. I like the way that you reinforce the idea that the state have to accept a certain amount of disruption to en enable indeed, freedom of speech. Yeah. Otherwise, your protests are meaningless, aren't they? If yeah. you are confined to the designated protest area, you may wave your banner and shout, but not too loudly. Yeah. What does that achieve? Nothing. Nothing. So, uh, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. So, guys, I'm going to get this uploaded. I'll speak to a couple of other people and be back with you shortly. See us. Thank you very much for the comments as well, guys. Or ladies, rather. All ladies so far. Oh, and Carol, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Carol.